Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your Storm Track 15 weather. It is 515. Happy Monday for those just waking up, just joining us this morning. We've got to look at your morning commute here because you may have some visibility issues. Yeah, Adam, does that suggest fog right behind you? Yeah, we got fog developing all across Acadiana right now. Scott and Alex, you can see here in Crowley, we're already getting those limited visibilities with that hazier look down Parkerson Avenue. But right now, uh, not too bad. I do expect through the next few hours that fog to kind of thicken up here. In fact, you can see we have a quarter mile visibility being reported right now in Opelousas and in Abbeville. We're also looking at some lower visibilities down to seven tenths of a mile in Crowley and three quarters of a mile in Jennings. So we're going to be watching this throughout the morning time. You're going to want to leave yourself that extra drive time, extra space between you and the car ahead of you as we go through the next few hours. And of course, be careful around those school zones. Temperatures have settled into the 70s here in Acadiana. Looking at satellite and radar, there is nothing that we're tracking around our region right now. Some showers, some thunderstorms spread out throughout the southeast. And then, of course, all the flooding that's been going on in Texas, they're getting a much needed break break right now, but we could actually see some rain around the area later today. This is at 6 a.m. and there's nothing to track out there beside the fog possibilities. By the time we get to 10, though, we start to see some pop up showers, according to our future cast model, developing from south to north, and then they spread across the area here by midday. That trend continues into the afternoon where we pick up some possible heavier rain out there, maybe some rumbles of thunder, but overall not looking at a whole lot of rain. We are going to be monitoring for a few of those showers, so you may want the umbrella here as you head out through the day today. Generally, though, I am looking at those temperatures sitting in the mid 80s by midday, getting into the mid and even upper 80s this afternoon, depending on how much sunlight we see. Of course, there's also going to be some of those pop up showers and storms and those toasty temperatures getting us into the upper 80s. Tomorrow morning, though, we'll start out very similar to today, settling into the mid 70s. We'll also be looking at a lot of clouds. Maybe some fog possibilities out there. The afternoon hours, though, showing another warm and toasty day in the mid to upper 80s. We'll have breezy conditions. But looking ahead, we actually get warmer here towards Wednesday and Thursday, where I really expect us to hit 90 degrees at least one of these days here before a nice little drop in temperatures. In fact, yes, we do see a cold front working its way on through here towards the end of the week. And look at what that does here. A very brief cool spell, if you can call it that, towards your Saturday before we start to warm up with more rain chances there on Sunday. So there are going to be a few opportunities for showers and storms. I do think our best opportunity is going to come Thursday night into Friday. That is where we could see some stronger storms too, so we'll keep you updated on that. Hmm, okay. Well, absolutely keep an eye and continue to check in, Adam. Thank you. Thanks, Adam.